Okay, so uh, today on Candid Conversations, I'm here with Sishti Dixit. Doesn't need an introduction, but still for the sake of formality, uh, she's a content creator, internet sensation. She mixes uh, comedy with a lot of social commentary also. Sishti, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Kabir. So, uh, Sishti, to begin uh, uh, right at the start, you know, one, I was seeing your Insta profile and one yeah. phrase which you use to describe yourself is human woman. So, if you could please explain what you mean by that. I also use water park <laughs> to describe yeah, myself. But, uh, this, this is the one uh, which I thought I'll ask you about. I mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> people like... Uh, uh, it's very productive when people uh, identify themselves with their pronouns and like all of that. So I just wanted to put out there that I'm not an alien creature. I'm a human woman. It's nothing. It, it's not based in any kind of intellectual decision making. It is completely random and pure nonsense in keeping with what I am like in life. Okay. So that, that's what she says about it. Now there's another video of yours where you're talking to your cat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who clearly wasn't uh, was was more in the which one? I'm talking like a crazy person with my cat all day long. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm coming to that. So this is the one where you yeah. know you are playing the role of your mom and you are talking to your cat about marriage, saying that only basically it's you and Salman Khan left. Which Prina KF ki bhi ho gayi. Bas tum aur Salman Khan hi bache nahi. Nee, idhar jab hum humse baat kare to idhar is mudda. I think it's a very valid point. What are your views on that? <laughs> My views are in the video. <laughs> uh, what are my views on that? I, they, it's obviously not true. I'm not the only single person left in this universe, yeah, of course. I know, I know. Um, that's how my mother sees me, but that's not how I see myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought it was like, there was a lot of Ranveer Alia wedding content. And uh, I'm sure like a lot of, like, like me, a lot of other women or men, anybody uh, was feeling uh, slight FOMO and uh, wanted something similar for themselves. So um, I decided to make content out of that FOMO feels. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, and what are your, I mean, what are your views on personal and even otherwise, as far as, uh, the reason I asked this question, as far as, you know, marriage is concerned, because now we are uh, heading into a generation where a lot of us are deciding either not to marry or delay our marriage. Uh, so what are, what are your views on that? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm at a point in my life personally where uh, marriage needs to make sense in terms of uh, value addition to my life because I live a pretty good life. I, I'm very privileged in that sense. I live a very comfortable life and uh, marriage needs to make sense to me in terms of okay, what will this add to, to my life? How will this add value to my life? Because uh, uh, relationships or marriage is not the only way to find fulfilling human connections in the world. Uh, friendships can be very fulfilling. Your work can be very fulfilling. Um, and uh, that shouldn't just be looked at as a way to like remedy loneliness, which I feel like a lot of people do. Like they do look at companionship and marriage with that lens uh, and there are also a lot of people who do genuinely want to spend their lives and commit to a partner uh, and do that for the sake of love and I really appreciate that that hasn't happened for me yet I, I can't say what will happen in the future if I will find someone who I want to commit to that way um, let's see let's hope that it does here's, here's hoping for the best what if you know the people who, are, who look at your Instagram profile and uh... It's a mixture of comedy videos. You were attending a lot of events. Now you've uh, also started posting a lot of fitness content. Uh, clearly you're fitter than yeah. me. What if one of them say that, you know, uh, Sisti Dixit, obviously, well, one reason she's probably not getting married is because she's got so many choices. I mean, so many eligible choices all around her because she's got such a happy life. And then what would you say to that? That doesn't happen. That is not the truth. It does not happen. I'm not stocked with options out here there aren't as many options as one might think okay um yeah that's not true <laughs> i don't believe you but moving on to the next question um <laughs> any comment on the current comedy scene in india uh you feel over the last uh, let's say over the last decade 
since stand up comedy really picked up in india it's improved or any any way do you think you would want it to go or it's perfectly fine the way it is and it's just moving organically i think it is moving organically there's just uh, different kinds of comedy content available for people to watch now not just stand up uh, which i find uh, very encouraging and uh, that's it. like that's how i made my way into this space um i'm not good at stand up i tried it like twice and like i got so much anxiety trying to do it that i refused to uh, do it again uh but yeah apart from stand up i mean there is so much so much content there's so many new voices uh on the internet in the space and like live events there are many like many ways people can be funny uh now and um i don't know if i want to change anything i mean uh there should be space for all kinds of comedy there should be space for um all kinds of opinions there should be enough space for uh, people to be able to express themselves the way they want um and also to be accepted with like that that understanding of okay this is this is jokes this is comedy this is uh, not coming from a place of wanting to hurt other people and also there should be humility in comedy uh, creators or people who are doing comedy to realize that if they have hurt other people they could like they should be apologetic because like i've learned that myself i say sorry the quick the quickest and like i don't because i know that that's not my intention my intention is not ever to like hurt it's only to make people laugh and sometimes i can miss the mark and that's completely okay as well so i'm always okay with uh, apologizing and understanding where the criticism is coming from and kind of uh, incorporating that in to whatever i do in the future and like stuff like that So yeah I think it's uh, moving at an organic pace it's going it's going in a it's going in a direction that is very fruitful and there are so many young voices now there are so many young creators now who are making such different kinds of uh, comedy and I'm very excited to be a part of it Yeah I think quite very sensible words and also what you commented upon the fact that nowadays a lot of i mean the sensitive sensitivity levels have also gone up but at the same time from the comedian side also understanding where maybe they may have crossed the line and uh, sort of acknowledging that i mean it's a it's a it's a tight rope it's a tough line it's a to tight walk rope, it's exactly it's a tight rope yeah. because yeah, yeah it's it gets crazy at times for sure like i On, would like to always empathize in such situations and feel like if someone were to make a joke that i didn't really like how would i respond to it and uh, i mean i wouldn't always respond to it the way some kind of trolls do on the internet like i wouldn't actively go out and start attacking someone i would probably feel upset i would feel like my feelings are hurt and like all of that but uh, i do try to empathize more now when i see criticism um and uh, i try to incorporate that in the way i do stuff without try without letting it hamper what i really want to do and say and without letting it make me like inactive or passive i think you'll you'll make uh, for an interesting author on a on a certain book topic but moving on to a lighter note is Mal- <laughs> maldives overrated and why are all the bollywood <laughs> celebrities going there i mean i think maybe you should Ma- know maldives is not overrated i'm just jealous yaar kabhi <laughs> i just i want that life for myself and i am just spreading hate because i don't have it that's literally it i'm just always looking at other people's lives and how they are like fancy i don't know they're at a fancy beach and they are all like in bikinis looking hot being aesthetic and like i'm like hmm i want that but i can't so how do i resolve this feeling then i'll just simply uh, put my jealousy out there with statements like mall these is overrated but uh, I mean yeah if you can go for if you can go for a fancy go for it, why yeah. not indulge yes. yeah indulge yourself be safe and uh, uh show it to people like that's what this flat this that's what instagram is for instagram is for you to show your life to other people and if it is a fancy life but if it is a life where you are traveling to a lot of aesthetic places and sure why not mm. do yourself like li- live your best life Last question. It's a sort of a cliche question, but uh, what do you like most about being famous? What do you dislike most about being famous? Uh, 
honestly i still consider myself to be like semi famous i'm not like at the level of fame where i can't go out and get, uh, get groceries or i can't yeah. go step out without being like pap like that's not my life i have i live a very like i can be comfortable anonymous when i want to be and uh, i am also like recognized on the streets a lot which is also fun uh, so i don't think that i have any problems right now with being famous um uh the only drawback sometimes that i do feel is like people tend to maybe uh treat you uh as like you are better than everybody else and i really am not like i probably am worse than everybody else and uh, there is i feel like i there is less of space for me to make mistakes and like having said that i also get so much love so much support so much appreciation that uh, i can't just dismiss that and be like oh it's so hard to like just say what you want to say and like feel what you want to feel because you're famous and like you will get attacked for certain things that you say and do i always focus on uh, what is the positive of of having this platform of having this voice and of and and of having this kind of reach and influence uh i have so many people who really love and adore me and like it makes me feel very good about myself uh and when people like recognize me on the street and they want to take take a picture and they tell me what they like what kind of content they like me to do and what they love the most and i i just love having those interactions because it makes me feel like okay i'm reaching out to so many people and being heard uh so yeah i i like being famous it's fun in a nutshell i like being i mean good good yeah i mean yeah, that's the way like it is and uh, and uh, so okay fine so a funny uh funny comedian with a sensible head on her shoulders that is shristi dikshit for you shristi thank you so much for talking to us obviously looking forward to uh more discussions with your cat and all those comedy videos but uh, yeah all the best for the future thank you so much thank you so much for this thank you so much for having me i had so much fun Thank you.